Today, I will briefly introduce to you the Recodine Chain Toolkit. So this is today's agenda. At first, uh, I will give an overview about Recodine and its capabilities. Then I will present the Chain Toolkit by describing its main features and by showing a very simple example. And lastly, there will be some time dedicated to your questions. So Recurrent is a multi-body simulation platform with uh, extended capabilities, and uh, the time dedicated to this webinar isn't enough to describe them all. And since this is not today's topic, I will just go uh, through its main features very quickly. Uh, Recurrent can be used to perform classical multi-body simulations with rigid bodies and joints. And furthermore, it can be used to implement flexible bodies using the CMS synthesis. However, it also contains the proprietary technology which allows its users to include flexible bodies in their models. And these bodies are real finite element entities and not just a linearization obtained through model bases. Another very important feature is the contact technology. Recording contains a very large library of contacts, both analytical and general, which can cover all the possible situations you might encounter. The optimized solver is the core of the technology for sure. It allows, this, it allows to solve extremely complex problems with thousands of contacts and to do that faster than any competitor. Recording can also be connected to both VEM and MPS particle simulation software which can be really useful to simulate lubrication problems in chain transmissions. Lastly, the software contains a programming environment uh, with which the user can customize its experience and write his own macros. Recording contains several toolkits. For, uh, for example, there are toolkits for median transportation, for tracked vehicles, for flexible transmissions, and many other, as you can see. They all grant the possibility to automatically create uh, several entities of the model and to group them with dedicated interfaces in order to reduce the time required to create the model and to set up its parameters. Obviously, the chain toolkit is dedicated to the creation of uh, chain transmissions. Therefore, it gives the user access to specific entities normally used in the creation of these systems. To do so, specific icons appear in the menu bar to create, for example, rollers and uh, different kinds of sprockets, such as multiplex and silent sprockets, as you can see in the image. The toolkit speeds up all the pre-processing tasks because basically it automatically creates the 3D CAD geometry. The user can simply select the entities from an internal library, in, which includes uh, either standard elements or you can decide to input specific data to personalize this geometry and to obtain its own uh, geometry. All the elements created in the toolkit are modeled as rigid bodies. The creation of chain elements is very, very similar to the creation of sprockets. Basically, uh, we have again a specific specific set of icons which give, gives access to different type of chains such as standard chain, multiplex chains and silent chains. Once again, the geometry can automatically be created based on an internal library or the user can input his own parameter to personalize it. Moreover, the chain can automatically be positioned uh, based on the position of the sprockets and the sprockets can automatically be oriented in order to properly engage with the chain once this is created. Then, lastly, another very important thing is that both lateral and tangential guide can be easily created by the, uni by the user to guide his mechanism and to act, for example, as tensioners. So once the simulation is, once the geometry, sorry, is created, the toolkit provides dedicated interface to define bashing and contact properties, such as the link-to-link -link connection, the guide stiffness, and the contact properties between the chain and the sprockets, or uh, with the guides. This significantly reduces the time required to tune all the parameters, and it allows the user to easily control all the elements of his models. In this slide, 
you can see a very simple model that I have created using the chain toolkit. All the elements in the model have been generated internally using the ESO library, so I didn't need any external CAD data to create this model. The model is composed of an input pinion and an output sprocket connected by a chain with, which is composed of more than 100 rigid bodies. Both the sprockets are connected to the ground via rebel joints and furthermore, on the input pinion is applied a speed ramp whereas on the output sprocket acts a constant torque. Moreover, the model contains a chain tensioner which you can see here on the, on the right and this chain tensioner is composed of several rigid bodies connected between them by joints and bashing in order to represent the flexibility of the tensioner using basically a lump scheme. This is obviously a very, very simple model, yet it contains most of the elements you would find in a standard chain transmission. In order to simulate the dynamic behavior of this model for two seconds, for example, it takes less than 10 minutes using a standard PC, which is a very short time if you consider that there are more than 100 bodies in the model and that the chain interacts with the sprockets only through contacts, so there are no joints constraining the motion of the chain links. Once the simulation is completed, several outputs are available for the user. As you can see, we can obtain the animation of the motion of the components in dynamic condition, and you can see the video. But we have also um, other results. For example, in this slide, I have reported the angular velocity of the sprockets, the tension acting on one of the links of the chain, and the contact force between the same link and the outer sprocket. Similar outputs can be obtained for all the elements of the model so that the user can perfectly understand the dynamic behavior of the analyzed system. In conclusion, we can say that Recurrent Chain Toolkit grants significant advantages to its users thanks to the automatic creation of the geometry the automatic assembly of the chain, the automatic creation of all the contacts, and the dedicated interfaces. All these features significantly reduce the pre-processing time and allow the user to create an entire model with just a few steps. During the solution of the problem, the proprietary contact technologies reduce the simulation time and at the same time, they reduce the level of noise in the outputs. Lastly, the output normally available for any recording simulation combined with the dedicated outputs provided by the toolkit allow the user to study and understand his or her own mechanism in dynamical conditions. So I would like to thank you all for your attention and if you have any questions you can use the chat to write them and I will answer as best as I can. I have reported also to my contact information if you prefer to write an email. Thank you again for watching and I invite you all to visit our website where you can find many other information about Recording and several other examples of what can be done with this software. Thanks again.